I just kind of like had a huge coat on and then I had her little box that like I got from the pet store and literally like if you can imagine like a trench coat with like all of the <laughs> like illegal supplies inside like that's literally kind of how I held her into my dorm room. I missed my dog like so much. Within like the first few weeks of school, I just was kind of like going crazy like ah, I need like a little like pet I can take care of and my roommate was totally on board. She like felt the exact same way. Almost every student that I've talked to that had a pet before they moved to college, it's such, it's so painful to like leave that pet yeah. behind. And even though it sounds dumb, like it's just a tiny hamster, like it, it does feel like she has like a personality. Over winter break, I guess I'm just gonna have to pull the same thing, like carry the hamster out individually and then get that tote bag and yeah. carry the cage to like my parents' car. Hopefully it'll go smoothly. The cage isn't too heavy, so. <laughs> then there's Tessa Stalhoot, who lived with her emotional support animal, Echo, in the dorms last year. Tessa and Echo have been together for nearly five years. And, I mean, like, a lot of people would, like, ask me, they'd be like, oh, like, you know, how did you get her in there? Like, you know, what did you have to do? And I'm like, oh, well, I had to go to the doctor 100,000 times, and, like, and it's, it, it's, like, super frustrating that, like, people just assume that I brought her in there because I just wanted to have my dog at college, when in reality it's, like, an actual thing. I mean, once we got all the paperwork from the doctors and the vet sent into the housing and dining lady, I don't know how to put it. Like, she was not, like, on track with things. She kept losing my paperwork, so I'd have to, like, get more and then refill everything out and then give it to her again. And then she wouldn't get back to me for, like, weeks at a time. And, like, I filed to get Echo into the dorm in November, and she didn't move in until um, February. Actually, one of my friends, like talked to this lady's like manager and she was like she's making my friend who's trying to get the support animal into the dorm because she's anxious and needs a support animal she's making my friend more anxious about this and it needs to get like taken care of so it definitely should not have taken so long 